Hello, today I'll show you how to replace cooling fans and heatsink on Dell G7-7790 gaming laptop. And we're also going to replace the existing thermal compound to a fresh thermal compound. I'll show you how to do that. First off, flip over your laptop. There are 10 screws to remove from the bottom cover. Just to let you know, there are two screws in the middle, the upper section. Those screws, you cannot take it off from the bottom cover. They pops out, but you cannot get rid of it. So just unscrew them and leave it there and remove all other screws. After removing screws, carefully take off the bottom cover. Before we do anything, remove the battery connector for safety. Here I got an Arctic Silver thermal compound. They perform really nice. Uh, a lot of people have a good reviews on this product. Okay, now I see the blue colored heatsink and two fans for cooling both CPU and GPU chipsets. Now I'll need to take off those two fans and then I'll be able to remove the entire heatsink unit. Three screws to remove for each cooling fan. One on the left and one on the right. You can disconnect the cooling fan cable to remove them, but in this video, I'm not going to remove the fans. Because I'm going to remove the heatsink without removing the cooling fans, I'll show you. Now, there are many screws on the heatsink. Remove all of them. It is time to remove the heatsink. Watch for the fans and carefully remove the heatsink. I'm going to clean up the existing thermal compound from both GPU and the CPU. After that, I'm also going to clean up the existing thermal compound from the bottom of the heatsink. I'm using a paper towel to do this. Alright, let's apply some fresh thermal grease to the processors. Done! It is time to reinstall the heatsink and place the cooling fans in the right position. Looks good. Now it is time to put the screws back, three screws for each fan, and I think there are a total of seven to eight screws for the heatsink. And remember, there are orders in these heatsink screws. The orders are printed on the heatsink, so start from number one and finish it with the number seven or eight screw. Looks great. Reconnect the battery and close the bottom cover. Now you're done. Thank you for watching.